Okay, so this is just a quick update. Uh, it's mostly about the new version of Xangle. We are now at 1.8.5 and we used it for the first time last Thursday. We did that super cool event uh, downtown Montreal with only 12 cameras using that new version. September 13, we are in Montreal currently shooting with 12 cameras and Laurent is in the roll case. What are you doing? I'm, I'm doing some HTML in the roll case. <laughs> I like it. Okay, that's the sharing station. These are our test shot. Oh, focus please, yep. That's the last, last shot we took. Testing the precision of the trigger. These are my sunglasses over there. You can share by email right there. That's really cool. That's our backdrop. Two current lights. So we have 12 cameras. All triggered at the same moment. And how long is it taking now? Five seconds. Five seconds? Okay, so. different like there's a new lightweight version of Xangle that works without any Raspberry Pi so it's very straightforward it's limited to 12 cameras this is what we used that night and we got a full preview within five seconds it was crazy fast uh, and not just a preview like it's the full mp4 ready to share okay and now today a few days later I said okay let's try that on full 360 rig 120 cameras. So Kim was with me a bit earlier today. We did a few shots, the usual stuff, jumping using the strobe, and we started the stopwatch, and we got the full MP4 ready within 14 seconds. 14 seconds! I was at 55 a year ago. Actually, a year ago was our first time using 120 cameras. It was at La, La Toyu, that video right there. And yeah, today was so perfect. I, I, it's blowing my mind how fast things can, can be these days working with this. And we still have tricks. Uh, we know where we can save a few more milliseconds. So also what's, what's new in this version for those of you who are using it? First of all, the files that are creating through Xangle are now saved in your local user folder. That means that if you update to a new version like in the, in the future, you won't have to move anything. Uh, you won't have to move your calibration files, your, uh, your images, your settings. Everything is staying safe in your user folder and you just update the new app. In fact, you can run two different versions and still use the same settings. The new user interface. A few small updates here and there. It's mostly more sandwich. It was taking way too much space. The trigger buttons are now top right. Uh, there's a new earth icon on the, on the top also. And when you click on it, you get access to this new menu that is dedicated for the, the web-based stuff. So you get all of the pages you used to see are still there you know, with all of these, uh, these menu buttons. Because as you can see from this uh, window here, the main app is not running through a web browser anymore. It is more like a regular Windows app. But it doesn't change anything for the, the operation. It's just a bit faster and a bit more straightforward. Okay, so that's it for now. And um, I'm going to leave you on these two beautiful shots that we did today with Kim. Slow motion, 360. Beautiful jumps. Thank you, Kim. 
See you later. Thank you.